Welcome back to the channel, folks. My name is Joel Duggan. We're hanging out here outside of West Hill on the Citadel server. And we're going to pick up where we left off yesterday. We were working on this little uh, lilac flower farm. And I want to do a little bit more work on the grounds, I think, before we go inside. Uh, first, we're going to have to sleep here. And I'm also going to have to dump some stuff out of my inventory. Because, oh, the space restrictions are real. I think we finished all the roof stuff. Mostly, I think today we're going to be outside, but we'll see. I might actually do some of the rafter work. That would be probably a good thing to try and do as well. And maybe we'll put in a couple of proper things inside. I know I wanted to do some chests. I won't do all the detail stuff, but we'll get some basics, I think. Insane value, what is my opinion on leg day? I mean, it's the same as any other training day. Um, Kokola Mandud, it, uh, leg day I think is just insane value referencing training, like weightlifting. So people separate their days into like leg day, chest day, back day, arm day, like that, that kind of stuff. The joke is that you don't skip leg day and I never skip leg day. The pun that we have in the channel is that we never skip Lego Day, <laughs> which is which is more fun than Leg Day. <laughs> Actually, I don't. I like all lifting. There's. I don't really find anything too tedious. So, uh, right. So all of this is tables and chairs. I did want to replace this. I think this could look good as a chest. It's a little bit big. Maybe the chest is going to go there. Yeah, and it's kind of makes the, the room entrance feel kind of cramped. So maybe we'll put the chest there. We'll work out the other details. Uh, I don't think there's going to be... I guess we could put a chest here, maybe. We have enough counter space. I don't feel like we need more, more counter space. And that's going to be a table. Shelving. Yeah, you know what? I think we're going to focus outside today. I don't want to get into the details just in case I want to move something or move a wall. I think it'd be better to just wait and do the insides later. Double chest in front of the bed would be too much. If one chest in front of the bed is cramped, then two would be very cramped. Keep that, keep that. So we'll grab some coarse dirt. Probably turn my shaders off now too. Don't need the ladders or the stairs. So what, I feel like I want to take a look and see what I can do with properly setting up some pathing and garden space and just kind of decide how we're going to divide this up. Because there's this tier here that I don't know if that's actually going to have garden on it. I feel like we might want to adjust this wall to maybe come up here and connect here. And then this space could just be like a, an extra tree or something and then the actual wall space could be up there so let's just run with that idea yeah insane value i enjoy all all of my training i've been lifting for more than half my life so it's ingrained in my 
in my habits, in my, I'm not sure what to call it. Lifestyle? Lifestyle. It's, to, it's in my lifestyle. That's, that's a good way to say it. So if I wanted to bring this down this way, I think I'd actually start with this one. And we curve this here. That's a little bit too perfect. Let's maybe dial this back. That works. Yeah. And we could either cross the wall here or we could just leave it be its own thing. Probably just leave it open. I do sort of like this rock here, but I might move it just like a block forward, or we could extend one of these. Three. I guess I could touch the wall. Well, that's cool to know that you're training too. Insane value. Good stuff. If you've just started, then I mean, just keeping in the habit is probably the best way. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, thanks, Cosmic. Yeah, I thought it would be fun to just like, I need to start calling things other than just like West Hill this, West Hill that. So I thought the Lilac Farmstead would be a good way to, to go. So if that's going to come up to around there, I guess I should really think about this path and whether or not any of this stuff is going to stay. So I'll go get some more bushes. Probably some moss, carpet, and lilacs. There's nothing else in the flowers that are really that color. Is there? I guess there's some tulips. Alliums are kind of cool. I guess we could try some pink petals. I don't really know about that. That might be too bright. We'll see. Oh, I need grass. Wow. All right, well, quick field trip. Uh, those are regular shears. Where's my, there we go. 
We'll just scoot over to the meadow next door and grab some grass. Out of sight, out of mind, and maybe a favor for whoever wants to build here next. I think Hannah wanted to build a horse farm or something over here. How many stacks do I want? Probably like at least four. Should be good. I think Hannah had plans for just a decorative horse farm. I don't think it was meant to be something that explored a lot of the mechanics. I think she's done that, though. I think she's bred some horses for herself just for fun. That's right. We'll have four stacks in no time here. Feels very funny. <laughs> feels like a feels like a golf course. Very manicured and mowed. And there we go. Yeah, I think Hannah has found a little bit more work-life balance in the last little while, so she's been able to pop onto the server more often, which is cool. All right. Uh, yeah, I think it's mostly the path and stuff that I want to focus on. So I do like having this little part down here. I don't know if we'll go that high, maybe only slabs. And this is all gonna be replaced. It's not gonna be cobblestone. We'll we'll make this look nice. I feel like this looks pretty good. This might be better if it was just one more block over like that. And we'll of course decorate all of this to look nice. And then if you add a carpet and maybe a bush. Kind of helps frame it a little bit. So as far as the curve of this goes, I feel like it's pretty good. I might want to adjust the step up here to be a little bit different, but as far as the, like the top down look of it, I feel like it looks all right. If anything, it's a little bit straight here. And this is where there would probably end up being a path going around the house anyway. So maybe here is where we do a little bit of this.
cut that in like that maybe. And we can change the texture of this later. I just want to kind of rough out what it might look like. Yeah, so if we have a path here, I think this would end up being wider here. Mind Trip Media with 100 bits. Thanks ever so much. Really appreciate the support. So I did like the idea of having some gardeny stuff here. I don't know. I don't think that's going to push the path out any farther. Like I don't, I don't think there's going to be grass here. I do like the idea of having some sort of flower box here. It's going to be tricky with these because you'll be able to see the sides of the dirt. So maybe if we knock that back, then we could do like a garden there. Now, unfortunately, we can't plant anything there. If we wanted to put stuff around it like this, we can't put anything in that space. However, I could kind of mix it up a bit and do maybe bushes. So maybe frame something. I don't know. I feel like I want to put some sort of flower in the windowsill, but then also have something on the ground there could be good too. And then we can use moss along here. I find sometimes increasing the contrast between the path and the edge here will help it stand out a bit. Um, do I want this to be single? That looks better. So I probably should go get some slabs because this will change the way that the wall works. But I feel like that looks pretty good. Looks like a natural kind of departure. I don't know what's happening on this top level. So I've got to sort that out. Figure out what's happening there. We've got this other path that we were working on before too that I should probably bring around. Connect. That goes to the back door. We'll make that a little bit more rounded. I could see there being another path from here, heading out this way. probably end up moving that and then this of course would probably come back through here oh that's supposed to be a wood pile blast jordan good to see you the last two builds you've worked on, says Cosmic, the inn and this one, and competing for my favorite builds at the moment. Oh, thanks. That's cool. I think a lot of it is is the three years of 
of doing this under my belt, right? Like they, they do feel like they've come together quickly, I think. And I think it's just because I've been building in this style in this area. And I've had a lot of time walking around past these places to think about what I want them to be. So I'm not like struggling to find an idea, which I think is good. Now that I bring, we'll do the details on this later, but I do feel like this should be at least some sort of wood pile. And then maybe like a chopping block or something. Maybe that can go over here. Again, just placeholder stuff. We'll work out the details a little bit later. probably end up being stone wood probably stone put a temporary block in there now now why does this creep in a notch I feel like that should go in the other direction One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that feels better. I should put a bed down up here so I don't have to run back every time. Where? Let's put it here. You remember me starting out here saying, well, I've never really built in a medieval style before? Yeah. Yep. I should, it's, it wasn't like never, never. But it wasn't like a full cohesive build. It was like a windmill here, a house there. Early Minecraft just lends itself so well to medieval type stuff that it's kind of hard to avoid. All right. I think this tree is distracting me, so we're going to get rid of it. I will put a stump in the ground just so that we know where it was. And I'm going to watch these shears. CJ, subscribing with Prime, 30 months, the big three zero. Thank you ever so much, CJ. Good to see you. Appreciate the support as always. missing I wanted to get some slabs I think
starting to feel like a little bit more purposeful. So back here, we've got this cool little gridded garden. We'll go take a look at that actually. So the whole idea I thought behind this was that we've got this great big garden that this farmer is probably harvesting and selling. And then they had like a little garden of their own out back for just personal use. I'm not sure where that cow came from. So just something simple like that. I thought over here it could be fun to maybe raise the gardens. Because down here you're not going to be able to see much. So I thought up here if we could figure out a way to grid them off. And what would be a good size? Could probably fit two. Or maybe three if we made them small enough. Yeah. So do one there. Maybe skip two. One, two, three, four. Three, four, one, two. Not quite. If I bump that over a bit, we might be able to squeeze them in. Matt B, J. Christ, good to see both of you. Hope you're having a good day. Turing, hello. So... That one, two. That still doesn't really fit, does it? Only barely. We could have these two raised and then have this not raised. And I think that'll reduce the footprint. And I think I want to stagger these two. I didn't mean to put all of my grass away. So that could be good. And then over here, we could just have a regular garden. And then we could maybe 
I'd like to try and go and follow the wall if I could. And I might, I don't think I want to add a wall here. There should probably be a path though. Right, so that's going to have to move. Well, this could be from here. This will look a lot less boring once we've... Uh, once we've changed the textures. Really, this could be more of a green border between this and the wall. Uh, Squealit, I'm not no, I'm not sure. It could be a mix. Maybe there'll be some flowers. Maybe there'll be some vegetables. There's also this space over here too, right? Like we can do um, some other stuff over here. So I feel like I might do like a small vegetable garden here. These could maybe be smaller flowers. I don't know. I'm just, we'll wing it. It's, it's honestly, it's going to be more about what looks better rather than um, what makes sense from like a practical standpoint. That reminds me, there is a cave down there that I should probably light up. I don't have enough room. Let's just put this stuff away for now. I was too efficient at cleaning my inventory, yeah, or that I just wasn't paying attention. The last couple streams I've been over here, I can hear mobs walking around somewhere down here. I know there's a cave. There we go. Where did you go? Gotcha. Looks like I lit up part of it, but maybe not all of it. Whoa. Definitely a lot of mobs down here. Okay, so I've obviously been this way. So I didn't place that torch. That's lit. This is a huge cave. Saw him at the last second.
Let's see. More creepers everywhere. The problem, of course, with lighting this up is that it does mean that there's be more spawning on the surface, but it's more about the noise for me than anything else. It's a lot of coal. Oh, more of you. They all have items too, which is a problem. So, not that there's a lot of lag, but that kind of stuff when you don't want them to be wandering around. I feel like they came from somewhere. Did I miss like a dark corner or something? Offshoot? No. I'm not sure how the chicken got down here. Oh, up here. I hear water. So I've obviously been that way. All right, I don't think that's gonna matter. That's, we're getting pretty deep. So we're not gonna be able to hear anything from down there. You are just getting on my nerves. And of course, the tricky part is going to be finding our way back out. All right, not worried beyond that. Well, the wandering trader's back. It was somewhere here. There we go. Something that's really helpful about maps, if you use the map mod, is being able to kind of figure out where you might have dropped in. to the cave. A wandering trader. Do I want to bother? Black concrete would be cool. I guess we're going to have to. Chiseled stone. Coal ore. Weathered cut copper. Yeah, there's lots of good stuff. Dang it. I need to end, exit my inventory as well. All right. Let's go through the list. Uh, black concrete. Chiseled stone bricks, coal ore, weathered cut copper, red mushroom block, tough, magenta concrete just because it's so bright, deep slate redstone ore, orange concrete, white concrete, and red sand. Let's see how much of that I can remember. The way out is the way you came in. Thank you, Cosmic. That's ever so helpful. <laughs> oh, boy. Unfortunately, doing this stuff with the Wandering Trader means I usually have to empty a lot of my inventory, but it was kind of getting 
unruly anyway. That should be enough room. Backup bow, I guess. Some of the stuff is already out here. So we've got black concrete, magenta concrete. I'll have to make that into concrete. Chiseled stone should be really close by. Black chiseled coal ore. Weathered cut copper. I think I've got that. So it has to be this kind. I think. Red mushroom, do I even have that? I'm not sure what box that would be in. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh, uh... Two concretes, can't remember the color. Yeah, me either. It was orange, I think, was one of them. And white. Deep slate, redstone, orange, magenta concrete. Tough. Got tough. The rest of the stuff is going to be in my storage room. Soaker in the back? Yeah, I know I have them. I just don't know where. Redstone block. There they are. And redstone ore. All right. Black concrete, chiseled stone, coal ore, weathered cut copper, red mushroom block, tough magenta concrete, deep slate redstone ore, I think that's everything. Oh, red sand. John T. Pepper, hello, welcome in. Thanks for saying hello. <laughs> you're worried you're starting to remember my my storage contents cosmic i mean you're here often enough if i forget anything i don't know if i care this is such a fun little mod not mod data pack i should say oh that has to be changed into concrete sorry that's getting ahead of the game here So it's just the magenta and the orange and the sand. That'll be easy. Uh, there's a spot somewhere. 
with no grass. There's one. Man, that's bright. Holy crap. Cool. Oh, not enough room. Uh, I guess I can take those back. Now and get back to it. And what else do I want to grab? Get those back. I'm sure I'm forgetting something. That's fine. So here, I think just going up by a slab, oops, will help. Just in terms of the, the height of it. And then these, I think, if I focus on these right, if we raise the beds here, then I could do something maybe like this. And then this could just be regular flowers or something. I don't know about this. That might look okay. I might have to go smaller on these. Though I don't I don't know what width. Oh, what if we did this? That's a little bit lower profile. We could change that up with some signs maybe in the middle. That could work too. Dad from Bear, thanks for the tier one sub, 20 months. Very much appreciated. Uh, grass. It's a lot of brown. It's the only thing. So I might want to try and add some color to that if I can. 
Maybe we can use some different trapdoors to brighten it up a little bit. Unfortunately, on the map, the trapdoors, the brown trapdoors read, and that's what you end up seeing. You can sort of see what I was planning. And there's room for more. I'm thinking I might want to move these down a level. I think this would be a good spot for a tree. I don't have my scaffolding on me. So one thing that would go nice with the lilacs is my beet texture is custom. And what was the other thing that I wanted? Different trapdoors. Maybe jungle trapdoors? They're a little bit more, they've got warm, warm features. Also, maybe we could work some signs in because sometimes signs, um, they could be used as like not signs, I guess. How does sleeping affect the rain cycle? Uh, it um, it used to reset it every time you slept on your own, but now the only way to get it to stop raining, unless you're an admin, is to sleep. This oh, I forgot my hoe. That's what I wanted to get. Mm -mm -mm -mm. That and. Pitcher plant pod. Oh, I do have scuffling. All right, let's get rid of some of this. So this would all have to be potentially farmland. If we do those, if we wanted to do flowers, not pitcher plants, but if we want to do actual flowers, then we'd have to do something else. So I'm thinking this would be something that would be nice to go with the lilacs. It's a little bit different, but break time when you're ready, says Cosmic. Thank you very much. Rain really would feel less annoying if there was something unique to do during the rain, says Wait for Night. Yeah, I, I agree. I think that's a, a decent... Yeah, so that we can see them. So we can see the one high flowers. Like before, if we only did the on the ground, you'd only ever see like the top bits of it, right? I'm just curious what this looks like up against the lilacs. I don't know if it's gonna. We're not gonna be able to see it until we're farther away. 
There we go. Right? It just looks like a darker same hue. There's definitely some um I've got some beats over here too. Come on. Up near the top, there's some magenta and I think that that works well. And then depending on how tall the pitcher plants are, that might be a nice separator. But we'll worry about that next. I feel like, I feel like I wanted to do a third layer of lilacs and then the pitcher plants were gonna be on this one strip here. Yeah, I'm still not sold on these giant logs. I feel like I want to come up with something smaller, but I, I just, I don't know. I don't know what that is. If I don't do anything here at all, then it might be worth moving these closer because if I remove both of these, then it's like four blocks in between and I feel like two is plenty. Actually, maybe. No, that's fine. So we could probably put three beds up here instead of just two. If I decided to go real simple. And then maybe this stuff. Because if there was another bed there. Whoops. Yeah, I think maybe we could do something like this, but then maybe we can change the type of trapdoors. Mm. Right, so we could keep some of the some of the spruce. So maybe instead of logs in the end, I could go spruce trapdoors. So feel it feels a little fancy, but not bad. Anyway, I should stick to these breaks. Thanks again for the reminder, Cosmic. Sometimes when I'm getting creative, I get carried away. Folks, if you're new to the stream, I take a break about once an hour. Just gives me a chance to grab another glass of water. And uh, I'll be back in about five or six minutes.
So let's see if we can replan some of these raised beds. I like that you can see it so prominently from this side too. Yeah, maybe, maybe not too many of those. That's even brighter. Maybe we can go with a, a spruce sign there. So if we plan that one there, then I should be able to push this farther down. I don't think I'd want this any closer. Maybe one block. Yeah, sure, why not? On the way back to Shulker Island, could you do a quick look at the signposts you made? Dad from Bear heard about them on Sponge Chunks and was curious. Oh, did I miss that? Sorry, Dad from Bear, I missed that, yeah. Uh, I need dirt anyway. You mean this one? With the... the armor stand stuff happening? So the items are just being held by armor stands with the armor statues data pack from Vanilla Tweaks. And then the, the poppy and the lantern and the spruce sapling are all miniature armor stands. And then that's a regular size armor stand. Pretty sure. I'm not entirely happy with it. I want to fix a couple things. I feel like Western Slopes could just be a little arrow. We unfortunately can't get that pointing the other way, the, the little um, Unicode symbol. So there are some, I guess, restrictions. Oh, thanks, CJ. So yeah, so something like this would be better probably with like a spruce sign. But let's go two over and then probably two back. And I guess I might as well get all of these. We know it's going to work now, so that's good. Really wish we could use farmland. Like, if farmland would just stay farmland. That'd be great. And then over to... And then... Down to so that will give us three beds, and then I can adjust this to be nicer. And then I guess they were seven long, I think. Two, three, four, five, six, seven.
three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do we have a preference? Does it matter? Uh, I wonder if seven might be a little bit long. Maybe we'll do six. So funny because your brain very often just wants to do odd numbers in Minecraft. It's usually what looks better. And I don't know if they all have to be beats. And that makes it more interesting too because then with three beds you've got one path here but then you've got this other path here that kind of goes off into the other two beds so that's more fun less symmetrical Maybe we'll switch this. Sure. You can see on the map, it's really starting to feel like it's got some purpose. No. So maybe this could be like potatoes and other little things. haven't left. You just get tired of listening to them. Beats. Okay. So yeah, I feel like up here would be a good spot for a tree. I don't want to block the view. You 
really can't see anything from down here anyway. So it would probably be around here. Not that tall. So I think probably the right spot north-south, but maybe we need to move it a little bit more to the right, a little bit more west, maybe two blocks west. Although it's not bad. Oh, thanks, Insane Value. I like the pink flowers, too. Yeah, maybe... Let's try it just a couple blocks. Yeah, I feel like it gets past the tower sooner, which I like. Cool. Uh, I don't have a spot for those. I'm ringing a room. See what we get. Oh yeah, the boat the boats are being moved. I don't know why. Uh you think it's the squid? I thought it was the fish. I thought it was the fish. But yeah, the boat's like way out past the dock now. Like it's I thought it was farther away, honestly, the last time I looked at it. I thought it was like way over here. But yeah, it's uh it's being nudged around by something. The other boat that I have hasn't moved. But there's no way to keep them in place. Now, is this just going to give me a regular tree? Hopefully it'll be something decent. Nope. Boring. Got to bring more than one sapling. So what we can do is maybe go up a bit. Try again. Let's 
It's a better tree. Better start anyway. Might be a little tall. That's fine. I think the previous test was like six blocks total, and that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. So we'll just take the top off. These are going to disappear. So we'll take this down to the basics and then we'll build up a little bit underneath it. So this is really simple and maybe we want to add a little bit more of a different shape down there. Yeah, we'll see if that's about right. I can always come back to that another day. It's more about just getting a rough a rough placeholder in there. Yeah. I mean, we'll have to either remove this or, or move it. But once that has a, a better shape to it, I think we'll be all right. I might even want to make it just a little bit shorter. Mm, it's not bad. But I think maybe if we just remove this top part. Dr. Potato, haven't seen you in a bit. Thanks for the raid. What were you up to today? Live on stream. So weirdly, this went from being high on the left to being high on the right, but I'm all right with it. It's a little symmetrical, but I'll, I'll tweak it later. Mostly what I wanted to do is make sure I figured out like something here. So now when we're walking down this path, there's something here to kind of look at and move around. We could also get into some 
custom roots and things. Mess around with some of the grass. Yeah, I think that'll be a nice little piece. Now, I don't know what to do with this area here. It doesn't have to stay like this. We might even want to adjust it a little bit. Maybe we have this staircase happen a little bit sooner. It does feel rather close to the wall, so we could maybe adjust this to be back. And then that's going to change that. Still feels like a lot of space, but maybe we just put a bush there. Oh yeah, this tree is in the middle of the farmland. This is just coming straight down. Let that despawn. Folks, if you haven't already, please check out Dr. Potato. They have raided a number of times. Appreciate it. Thanks for sharing your viewers. So I feel like this needs to connect to this road back here. Yeah, this could almost be trim down farther. Whoops. I'll worry about the rest of it later. So then this feels a little bit too straight. So we'll be able to move this over here, I think. seems to make sense. And then this one would go, I guess, this way. I don't know what we're going to do with this weird empty space. Maybe we wouldn't create a Y. Maybe this would just curve better. Yeah, let's make this curve to the left. And here it would probably turn around and go this way. Out of course dirt. No worries, Dr. Potato. I appreciate you get a raid and run. Such is the case for me when I raid other people on stream as well. Uh, let's see here. Coarse dirt.
yeah, starting to feel a little bit more flushed out. Here, though, I'm thinking it should be a wider path. So I almost want to curve this the other direction. So we're going to have the um, stairs go up at an angle, maybe. This might be better with actual stairs. Oh, there we go. That might work. Still feels kind of big for what it is. I might need to dial this back. I think it maybe is, is in too far. Still feels a little bit strange. I'll have to work on that. Still feels just a little bit off. That's not terrible. And we can create some other obstacles here too, like maybe there could be some bushes or something. Just to try and direct people a little bit more that way. Still a little straight, but not the end of the world.
Yeah, this feels a little bit wide now. Maybe we can tuck this back. Cool. Snooky full. Hello, welcome in. Do you plan on incorporating the bees into this farmstead or will that be something separate? I think I was going to do something separate. I think I was going to do the bees on their own thing. Um, that's just a temporary place for them. Basically, we had to breed up a bunch of bees and do a bunch of stuff because I wanted honeycomb and bees nests for that um, build over there. And I just decided to keep them all. And I mean, I'm going to harvest the honey and make some honey blocks for later, but I don't know whether they're going to stay there. Because we decided to turn this maybe into an abandoned farm. So I think what's going to happen is there's probably going to be another farmhouse. There's probably going to be another farmhouse here. Um, that will be, and maybe we'll keep it. Um, I, I do like being able to see the bees. Any kind of movement in Minecraft adds a lot of life. tree is very flat on the top. Alright, this is feeling pretty good. I think now what we need to do is uh, deal with the creeper. Not sure where you came from. I have shears, I don't. Iron box. Right, everything's full. I really don't need these. So, pitcher plants are going to be at least started on farmland. So I think I want to try to do a little bit of the layout for this and I'm going to change this path because I'm going to need to know where I'm going and some of this might change. I don't think I was going to do a wall up here. So I think I should probably work from the bottom up, which means more lilacs. And 
And this is where I guess there'd be more of a gate. Do I have slabs now? So this could potentially be just a small, like a wall that just kind of like goes down into the ground. And then we can walk around this way. So now I want to make sure that these don't line up so that we don't see right down the middle. Although from down here, it might not matter. All right, so don't put a path here. Maybe put it there. And is this going to be on the 45? Probably for the best. Need to get some lilacs. Uh, nope. So what I'm trying to do is just plan out where the gaps in the rows are going to be so that they don't all line up by accident. I find that sometimes when you do stuff like this, it's just... It's too easy to think you're doing things that are random and then you end up making a pattern just because that's how the human brain works. Right, so you can see how by putting those in the gap, it reduces, you're still gonna see some gaps, but it, it creates more of a overlap, I think. I maybe could have gone a little bit farther. Could have moved the whole thing over by one. better. Yeah, I think once there's a couple of rows up there, that'll work. Now this feels like a really big space, but we might be able to fill it with stuff. Or we could extend the wall a little bit. 
So I feel like that's decent. I feel like we've already decided that coarse dirt is the way we want to go for this. So now I can just fill these in with coarse dirt bits and do the flowers after. This is where we might have to shift the angle a little bit. So if I look at this, they should all sort of the gaps point towards a bed of flowers. And so hopefully that'll help it feel more full when we go to fill it in. Wait for night. Thanks so much for being here. Always good to see you. Thanks, Squealer. Yeah, I just it's it takes a little bit of planning, but it's it's really satisfying when it's done and it feels really full. I'm still not sold if I'm going to do the entire thing in lilacs or if I should kind of start to switch it up, like maybe have a couple different beds of things. But I just do like the, the look of a big field of one thing. I mean, it's not a giant field. There certainly could be a lot more. Horse dirt. You do go through an awful lot of it in this type of planning. Now, the tricky part here is how to handle this. And I know I've moved this wall a couple of times and it might move again. Just because I think it would be better to have a full bed here. Just leaves a lot of open space here. So yeah, the wall might need to get bumped out a little bit. This just feels so open and weird.
I wonder if the solution is actually to bend the wall and have it just like loop straight in here. So that this would just kind of like come to a stop and then connect this way. Although that feels kind of funny. And I do like the way that this follows the road. Hmm. I will have to think about that. I guess we could also just put flowers in here. That would be kind of fun having to walk between the flowers to go down. That could be, that could be interesting. I love having unlimited amounts of bone meal. It makes stuff like this so much easier to do. So we'll just temporarily throw this stuff in here. Let's see. It looks okay. It's, they're a little bit small. I feel like I could have made them bigger. Yeah, I mean, three tiers might be too much. Three tiers might be too much. Let's try something here because this has not yet been uh, planted. I'll do pitcher pods here. I wish there was a way to keep these from growing. That wasn't like string because um, they uh, they really look like turnips, especially at that stage right there, that second stage. It would be nice if we could use like shears on them to just stop them from growing in the same way. It's it's a it's a mechanic that's known in the game, and I think that would be a really good use for it. Um. I guess this would just be straight 45, wouldn't it? And then again here. That makes sense, sort of. I'm doing this now because these are going to have to grow up before we actually get a chance to see what they look like.
And we won't be able to see them on the map until they actually turn into something, I don't think. So we'll have to wait and see. Every plant with a growth stage should be snippable. Yeah, I think so too. Oh yeah, I can stop them with string. The problem is that you can still see string. I find specifically with shaders, it also shows up. So with all the screenshots and stuff that I do, it's a little bit tricky. Put those away. And there's no way to get more pitcher pods other than from sniffers, right? Like you can't bone meal or if you harvest a pitcher plant, you just get the pitcher plant. You don't get like two pods. I'm gonna go AFK at Cosmic's farm for a while. Nah, that's fair. That's fair. Well, then they'll get some extra pitcher pods out of it too. So this was more of a planning day than anything else. But you get they have to happen. Gonna get them done. Oh, I remember now why I have this one piece of lonely andesite. Wanted to put it at the back door. Okay, I put cobble down. Oh, cool, Cosmic, you're going to AFK at the farm this week? That'll work out well. Oh. Those should be in here. Grass. Oh, we're almost falling the grass again. So, we really didn't do a lot of building, but a lot of, I think, refining and planning on what the space is going to be used for. I feel like I now have a pretty good handle on this side area here on this top tier. Probably going to be some vegetables or maybe the one high flowers. We might be able to do some stuff like that. We'll do a custom tree with some bushes here. Probably very similar to what we see over there, right? like that kind of a thing. Maybe not that big. Uh, we've got the beginning stages of this top level. Um, I think this is going to be something we have to do in a fan. I don't think we're going to be able to go in straight rows. I think these top two tiers are going to have to rotate around. And obviously we've got some pitcher plants happening here. Because I think that maybe the three tiers of lilac might be too much. So we might have to go with uh, the two tiers of lilac and then two tiers of pitcher plants. I don't know. We might have to switch it up. That's a lot of pitcher plants. And those are rare. So we'll have to see. It might be worth having like a separation here where pitcher plants are around here from the view from the road but then this is all is all lilacs because I think that would look good from here too because then we'd have a split and that might be more interesting we could we could maybe create if if it was split here give or take or maybe there maybe this becomes a wider path and then there could be steps going down like here and then here on purpose. So we'll have to figure that out. But we've got the paths all planned around here. Some loose ideas for different things. It's a bunch of spacing and stuff that happened today, but you know, 
it's it's when you're doing a build that's covering this kind of ground you kind of have to take the time to do it from the air yeah i think we're getting there it will be fun to see when it all comes together i think this is going to be flowers and bushes and stuff like that uh something more decorative maybe even like some lattice work or something that could be really cool to see Anyway, that's where I'm going to leave you all for today. I will pass you along to somebody else playing Minecraft. Let's just see who's live. I would say, you know what? Tadpole Milk is live, and I think they only just started. So we'll send you all over to Tadpole Milk. I think you'll have a very good time there. Don't forget to tune in to the Spawn Chunks tomorrow. That's uh, Monday. We do a Minecraft podcast every Monday. And uh, it's recorded live in our Discord for that podcast. But then, of course, it's published online every Monday, wherever you find your favorite podcasts. I also do the Citadel Cafe podcast as well as, of course, stream here on Twitch. Next scheduled stream is Thursday. I don't imagine I'm going to get any sooner. I've got to get my taxes done. So it's going to be a busy week for me. And uh, check out the Patreon. It's a great way to support your favorite streamer. If that happens to be me, then wonderful. If it happens to be somebody else, also good. Uh, creators really can only do this with your support. So I truly appreciate all the subs today. Cosmic, thanks for the modding help. And we will see you all on Thursday. And uh, check me out on Twitter and Instagram too, because if I do stream earlier in the week, I will let you know there. Bye for now.